the way that we've generated energy in the last 100 years from essentially a single point of fossil fuels is not sustainable. Uh, either by the end of this century or clearly moving on, we need to have other strategies. So I think w what we're doing in the center is critical to this energy grand challenge that I talked about because it's helping us diversify how we source energy for society. And we're evaluating the potential for how one specific part of the biofuels area, cellulosic biofuels, can contribute to that energy equation that society will need to live on. The sheer body of work that we've been able to do in, in the first four and a half years it has been actually more than I ever anticipated we would get done. What, what's more important, I think, is, is the approach that we've taken to uh, roll out and assemble the Great Lakes Bioenergy Research Portfolio. We, we have decided uh, to take an approach that doesn't focus on one particular feedstock, one particular plant biomass, uh, or one particular product that comes out of it. We've decided to take an approach that allows us to try and extract as much energy from a diverse set of crops uh, and convert it into a small number of fuels that will function in the uh, automotive, aviation, and diesel engine sector. And we've done that in a way to uh, develop technologies that we think will be sustainable. And the sustainability of these technologies from the field through to pump will really be critical in getting consumer and society acceptance into the types of new fuels that we're going to be generating. Great Lakes Bioenergy, I think, should be very proud of bringing together these teams of people from a wide variety of disciplines to work on a common problem. Those individuals have bought into the, the science that we're doing and the approach that we're taking. And by that I mean they, they have, they have uh, embraced the idea of working together in teams to solve problems in a way that we traditionally would not have been able to do without the significant amount of funding that we got from the uh, DOE Office of Science.